I also think this is one of the wonderful things about doing television. Uh, even though I don't have children, but those that do, this is the one medium that you can bring your children. Uh, it never is a problem. Yes. I know on oh, the right. soap I do. Yeah. We have, we have kids who bring yeah. their babies. Only if you're the boss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about yeah. like in daytime soaps. And even then, it's not always such a children. welcome addition. I mean, yeah. I've had people suggest, I go, went to a recording session for a pilot that I did, and had people suggest to me that uh, I do something else with Hoonier besides bring him along. So people, I mean, the, the business world is hostile to children, I think. We did a well, show on that, too. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're going to get that. used to it. They have yeah. to they get But if your name is on the show, it's harder to kick you out. I've raised eight children. This has not been easy. Right. Now you have foster right. kids. Explain this now. I have a, uh, adopted and biological, his, hers, foster, whatever. <laughs> and, uh, I am with Sonia in that. I do not believe that there's an easy way. You know, it would be real easy to have a lot of nannies or it would be real easy to do a lot of different things. And the workplace is not set up for us. It just isn't. I'm you know, agree with it. Work toward that. That it Absolutely. Was. No. Yeah. That it helps. <laughs> okay, thank you. I just can I get this in before we break? Sure. Um, after my program, I take off my suit immediately in my office behind a closed door you'll be pleased to know <laughs> and hang it up i almost never sit during the program I, I think the one exception in many many years is today i got some accordions in the back of my slacks here i have like three gray suits six charcoal a couple of navies and ties that go with everything <laughs> This is as wild uh, as I get. Here is the striped shirt today. This is, you're talking zoot zoot here. I don't know how you do it. It's not. Someone it does must it. be no, awful. Not do you that mix? Not I mean, you've got to think jewelry. You've got to yeah. think the top, oh, the yeah. bottom, Panty the hose, thing. And they ride around your knees. And, <laughs> and oh, uh, please. And you've got to keep your legs closed. Yeah, and, now do you. you know, uh, all of it. Yeah, right. When you sit down, well, when you, know, you get up. We get cards for them. Do we get yeah. cards all the time, yeah. Dan and I. Close, close your legs. But uh, do you, I know are the clothes, do you, the clothes at work, is your wardrobe at work, or do you schlep this, I mean, how do you, no, no. someone hands you, when do you we make clothes? I do not have, Linda and Dean, I do not have wardrobe, I don't have wardrobe. She wears her own things, I can believe that, in the back. Yes. We have the same person, look at our shoes. Oh, so you, oh, I see. We all have the same shoes on, Jane, Linda and I, we have the same person. I yes, have to take yes. her belt and earrings to the wardrobe person yes. for we Monday. We have two girls that work with us now. Yeah. They're fabulous. So Barbara, we, have, we share. You get help, Joan? Uh, yes, wardrobe. I don't have to think about it. We have a wonderful person who does really? that. And uh, to me, it's a costume. Otherwise, you'd spend a full-time job shop. Yeah, well, I, I, I have, have a wardrobe person I, get, then. I went to Barney's and I have Barney's. made more money than yeah. any of them. I mean, exactly. it's, it'll come as no surprise that I have no wardrobe person. Look at this outfit. <laughs> and, of course, I'm getting raves for my shoes. George, show him the shoes. <laughs> these are, uh, yeah, this is your basic. We're selling He's a lot of these sneakers. this year. This uh, I stole from a basketball referee. And we'll be back in just a moment. I'd like to ask Joan a question. Yeah. On your dating game, you selected a doctor. Yeah. Do you sleep with him? Yeah. <laughs> He was waiting for you. It was... <laughs> no, no. Actually, it was terrific, and we all went out to dinner, and we had a terrific time. No, he's a very nice gentleman. You're always making fun of... You're always telling jokes about your small uh, boobs. I'm in the back row here, and I could, you know, see everything. So, uh, you know, where do you get your material from? This is the, uh, the X-rated section back here. Was that meant to me? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Obviously, my body is producing milk for the baby. <laughs> I have two questions. Linda, the, the clothes that you wear on Another World is Felicia. They are wonderful. Thank you. Do you dress like that? Sometimes. I, I, I'm sort of a... a I guess a dress. I like clothes. I have a fashion business uh, as well, and I, I like to dress. I'm, I'm more comfortable. Um, so I do have a lot to say about what I wear, and uh, yeah, sometimes. She, I don't wear feather bows. I always said if I ever got to where I liked feather bows in a store, I'd give up the part, because I would have gone too <laughs> yeah. far. 
I feel I look like Bette Midler. I happen to have my tap shoes. If I you'd have, like, yeah. I can... You're on. You're booked <laughs> Monday. Give me, book. Give me your name. You do? Yeah. Uh, Linda, I want to know, which do you like to do better, Attitudes or Another World? You know, a few years ago when I first started Attitudes, I would have said uh, acting, without a doubt. It, it has now become uh, easier. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. I, I love this kid next to me. We have a great time. And so now it would be hard to give up both. I, I, I like them almost equally. Um, it was so nice to hold your hand after all this time. I really like Sally, and I just wondered, um, your glasses are very distinctive of, your, of knowing you're really on TV. When did you start wearing them? When we uh, first started the television show, I could not see from that upper row over to the teleprompter, and that's pretty much when we started. Joan, just out of curiosity, are you having Nelson Mandela on your show? Are you doing me? Yes. Uh, Nestor, was your little boy adopted? No, 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 no. Nelson, Nelson Mandela. Mandela. Oh, Nelson Mandela. I thought you said Nestor. Yeah. I would kill to have him on. Are you kidding? I'd like to have the wife on. Winnie. Yeah, yeah Winnie. Winnie. I think that would be great. Did I hope you saw him on the Donahue Winnie show. Was asked to walk yeah. behind. Did you, you didn't that see him? I gotta get you a tape. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to know if, honestly, if, if y'all worked your way up from the bottom or if it was right people at the right time and the right place. They look like the bald bat. That's for sure. The poor guy. All he was just in case. You're breaking. Yeah. Hand up. Thank the blood is running out of this guy's hand. Yeah. Years yeah. and from long. The uh, from the bottom uh, up. From the bottom up. No, worse. I started cleaning out the radio studios Did and emptying you? coffee cups, and it took 26 years to pay the American Express bill. And uh, I've been doing it 34 years, really from the bottom up, from town by town, market by market. And it's not easy. Yeah. This question is to Sally. A few days ago, you had um, those very small children on your show. And I was wondering, where did you said there were only like four in the world or something. Where did you find the people? I Where do any of you find people for your show that are special? I'd love to be able to take credit, and I think we all would. We have, we're all of us, supported by very good staffs of people who go out and do that. Yeah. They do a wonderful job for us. Some of the topics on your shows are pretty sensational. Is that for ratings, or do you really try and teach people something every day? Both. I think you want them to learn something. I think you want to show them what society's about. And if you can get, you know, a wonderful topic. Everyone's going to go, wow, let's watch this. That's great, too. Our topics are not so sensational, and there's a reason behind that, and that is because I believe in taking women's concerns quite seriously. Maybe that's wrong. Clearly, both. no one watches, but... The first time you did, a woman was done... But, but you know, women who marry their rapists, you don't need to do women no, who marry the their rapists. You have to get people's attention before you can communicate with them. And I think we all agree that that's just the necessity yeah, But I'm not sure industry. you have to grab them around the throat. If you but, grab them around the throat and that gets them in to watch, then it's to then it's learn something. To yeah, there are all different ways to do it. Mm -hmm. I there usually do mine topics that I think you have a wonderful variety to be able to present. And we should have got into this a long time ago <laughs> on this program, and we'll be back in just a moment. Do you ever find yourselves jumping on each other's topics and doing the same thing? No, not at all. Thank you. <laughs> Sit down. Uh, yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Do you want to ever want to do like directing besides hosting? Want to further down your future? Want to do that? Try that thing? Directing. Would you like directing? to direct? Never. Not me. Yeah. No. No. Um, oh, James, but you miss being direct. like a beat reporter, you know, going yeah, around doing your own so. stories. I've I do. It. Yes, I do miss it. it. I've been having nightmares recently about giving up that kind of work, but the choice really, I mean, I watched the Panama coverage, and I used to do Central America, it was very hard to sit there and watch and not be a part of it, but I watched with Zach on my lap and thought, okay, pal, you made the choice. Yeah. Joan, would you ever go back to late night talk show? I just love the business. Let me tell you something. I, I would be in late night, early night, morning, afternoon, absolutely. That's All the at truth. the same it's, time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was wondering if you always wanted to be a talk show host. Well, that's a very good question, my dear. Oh, you mean for, I'm sorry. <laughs> Probably not, huh? You had no models, yeah, did you? Yeah, you did. I, I always wondered. Uh, uh, Bill, I think you're great. Sally, thank you for the, the tenderness that you... Thank you. I appreciate uh, yes, that. Yes, sir. 